All right, so we have some steel wool. Now steel, made of carbon and mostly iron, does burn, okay? So um, a little bit of activation energy, it, it does burn. Steel wool. Now there's carbon in steel, so that's predominantly what you're seeing, but it will burn. Uh, steel does burn, okay? In fact, if you take steel and, um, and you make it into uh, smaller pieces, you can get uh, a, a terrible plane, as I'm having here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, assuming this has anything, is I'm going to put some oxygen in my flask. So I'm going to try to keep the sand in. So I'm flooding this flask with uh, about 100% oxygen. Okay, and assuming my lighter works, we're going to put some of this steel wool, okay, into this flask, and wow! Now, why was the rate of reaction so much faster? No, it wasn't a catalyst. It was part of the reaction. Well. Think with me for a second. If I put more dancers on a dance floor with the same space, what's going to happen to the number of collisions? Yeah, they're going to increase. Therefore, the frequency of effective collisions increases. So I increased the rate of reaction by increasing the concentration of the oxygen. The reason why you don't smoke in a hospital is that that's what would happen to your cigarette, especially in a room that's been pumping a lot of oxygen. The rates of reaction are much, much faster if you've got more reactants, okay?